Hey guys, today we're taking apart a Canon Pixma MX870. The purpose of this video is just to show you how parts just come off this printer, how to get inside of the printer in order to fix it. First, what we're going to need to do is when the printer is on, we're going to lift this cover and let the print head carrier slide to the middle. And that will allow the carrier to be unlocked when we do when we remove parts. All right, when the carrier is over here, we're gonna remove ink and the print head. Because we already have this lifted, we'll remove the print head, close this, and instead of pressing the power button, we're going to just press, uh, uh, remove, unplug the printer. Since our printer is off, when we close this cover, the carrier will not slide back. So we're gonna start with the outside parts. Um, on the exterior of the printer or on that are just on it so um, first we're going to do this document feeder tray so what you do is just open this cover and you're going to press one of the latches here just kind of pull it away and that just releases it so this is the document feeder cover I mean tray this is the document feeder cover. We're gonna we're gonna get to that later. The cover we're gonna remove this uh, screen right now. Control panel to do that. We're going to just gently lift this uh, co uh, plastic cover um, plate. Just go around and kind of lift it. You can use a flathead screwdriver to do that. And just comes off like that there we go then we're gonna find all these screws in here there's about eight of them and we're gonna remove them and we're gonna use a flat uh, Phillips head screwdriver so one two three four five six seven eight screws that we're gonna remove Remove the eight screws. Now that should just lift up like so. And then we have a wire here in the back. So ground wire right here that we're gonna remove. Now keep in mind that screws are a little bit different. This one that screws into the metal plate, it's a short um, screw with a different thread and um, the ones that go into the plastic if they're a little bit longer um, so now we just remove this sorry there's remove the wire right here and that's how you install it you just plug in this wire put that ground wire in here into here and then Put it back and put the eight screws back. So that's the control panel. There we go. Um, so from here, we're going to go to this ADF cover. We see uh, we have access right here. So we're just going to uh, push the tray that way with our finger and then kind of pull this back. We can also use a flathead screwdriver for that. That helps. That just pops out. We can remove this ADF cover here. Now we're going to remove the trays. This is the main set tray. That's pretty easy. It just pulls out. Nothing's holding it, so you can just move it out of the way. Now for this uh, paper output tray, we're just going to. Put a flathead screwdriver there and push to the left. That will allow us to remove one side. I don't want to break anything, it usually just. So uh, let's go from here. 
I just pulled it out. You can try either left or right side. They're similar build, so uh, whatever is easier. Just letting you know it's not that not that simple with this. Um, probably easier when we remove the size, but anyway, um, just don't want to break that. There we go. So that's out. When you put the tray back, you have to make sure that you install them into these, uh, into the correct area. So there's a spring in here. When you're loading it, make sure it's open because um, this portion is what, what it swivels on and this is the guide for the spring. So when you close and open the tray, it's soft. It, if you miss that, you're going to have a problem having the print, uh, the tray um, open properly. So make sure of that. The spring is in here. You can, I'll show you. It goes back and forth. Is this white thing? So this, I'm not sure what the problem is with the focus. So this piece right here, it's supposed to be inside of that white spring right here. The other tray is in the back. This one is pretty simple. You just pull it up, pull in the middle, and push towards one side, and that releases it. Then we have this cover right here, the paper jam cover. Just push it to the to the right and remove that. That's the area that you should check whenever you have a paper jam. Now we have our printer on the side. We're going to remove the power supply unit. I'm going to remove the screw, also with the Phillips head screwdriver, and there's a, a clip, I believe, yeah, on this side. Let me show that to you. So it's right here. You're just going to push it away and pull the power supply. And we're going to remove these connections, your wires. And this is our power supply unit right here. Okay, now we're going to remove the side panels. There's four screws in the back. There's two here and two over here. Make sure you have all the plugs out of here. Of the top, and these just pop off kind of like so. There we go. And this side has the um. This side has the power uh, control pan, uh, I'm sorry, the main board of the printer here. Okay, we're going to do the same thing for the other side. So we'll start here in the back. Kind of lift this up. Release it. There's clips at the bottom that hold it as well, but sometimes just pushing it away like that, that kind of to make things easier. There's a hole right here for the tab. Just press that, and that should release as you pull it. That should release the back. The panel, I'm sorry, the side panel of the printer. There's one there, and there's another one that's just over here.
a bit. It's not as easy as the other one, but it still comes off without breaking. Just a little bit of force is needed, though. So that's something that we should have gotten too. Okay, that's my bad. Totally forgot about this area right here. Um, it's it needed to be there's screws in here, I believe. Can't even find that part right now. Um, right in here that we were supposed to remove first. Then this would come off, and that would let us um, remove the rest of this panel. So yeah, I apologize for that mistake. Make sure you do that before you continue. And then, There isn't supposed to be a screw there. Oh. So this is the clip that we need to press also. It's right in here. And that releases the rest of this. So the two sides, they hold down this top portion of the printer. And also some wiring right here that goes to the feeder and to the scanner. So we're just gonna go ahead and Unplug the top part right here. Let's see what else is holding it. There's these wires that need to be unscrewed. Okay. We have this blue wire right here, blue and black. That goes to the board. Just disconnects right there. This one is right here. Then this gray wire. wire to this um, either scanner or the display screen this one we disconnected already we're just gonna need to feed it through gently right here uh, let's loosen this one up. okay so we have the top portion off and here it is this has the scanner inside of it you can see it there um, support lever right here it has a spring on it too so to remove it you can just put some force with some uh, flathead screwdriver right here or just and you have the spring in there to get inside of the scanner there's a few uh, screws so one Two, three, four, uh, four screws, and then you can just open up the scanner and remove the scanner unit from the inside. Okay. All right. So there we have our printer. Um, to remove this plastic that's on top, it should be just held by clips. There's a clip right there. One in there. And it shows you which direction to push it in order to uh, have access to it. And there's two in the back. So this one. And right here, I believe. Okay. Um, don't see any screws for that top part. So let's go ahead and try that. I'm going to take our flathead screwdriver. Um, like I said, clip right here. Push it up. Then a clip in here. Okay. 
also push up. Then this area unclip like that. And one over here. Which we have here. Yep. No screw. Just, just like that. Top lift. Now we can see more of the inside of the printer. So if you're trying to clean or replace something, this is what it looks like. Here we have the timing strip. You need to push it to the right in order to remove it and then get this uh, spring off. So we're gonna push it to the right, remove it from that hook and then feed it through. There we go. This one uses you can see a part number. Newer ones don't have the part number on them, but this one, oh, uh, come on. Oops, I'm sorry about this. Let's get some. There we go, this one is QC3 3927. So this is what the printer looks like on the inside. If you need to continue and get two other parts, that's how far <laughs> we're probably gonna go. I'm also gonna remove the main board, but um, this is the pickup roller for the back cover carrier unit right here. This is the motor for the um, for everything here. You can see that this printer is, um, sorry, the motor is to move this back and forth. You can see there's a belt, drive belt over here that moves it back, moves the carrier back and forth and prints your pages. This printer has been used for um, a while. I see there's lots of uh, ink waste. Um, and, you know, it's, it's a very good printer. Sometimes you can just clean it up and keep going. Um, reset whatever you need to reset. Those are a little bit harder, but um, it's doable. So in order to remove some things here, this, for example, it just pushes out and then you re release the wire. So when you put it back, you have to make sure you put it back. When this is pulled out, you can slide the cord wire in there and then push it in. These just pull out like that. All right, so let's remove all the, the rest of the wires here. One here, these at the bottom. A little bit harder to remove. Let's get the wires and gently pull them out. You do not want to um, break away the wire from the connection because that'll be a little bit hard to re repair. So just do it gently, no rush. There we go. And this wire right here. There's two of them. I'm just using the screwdriver to get the, because they're laying pretty good in there, those wires to get. There we go. Bit it tight fit in here. There we go. I think I got them all here. Now we're just gonna remove the screws. Also, these are gonna be the shorter screws because the main board is screwed into the, the metal um, plate. That's why the screws are gonna be pretty short. There's one right there. Sorry. 
screen. Okay. There's got to be one right there. So now we can have our board removed. There we go. We're going to disconnect this. And this, and this is our main board for this printer. So this is, like I said, I, this is as far as it will go. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully this was entertaining for you um, or helpful. And in, in either case, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day. Thank you.